we have very gusty, windy conditions throughout the state. In fact, did you hear it last night? It woke oh, me yeah. up. We knew something was changing. Something was coming, Allison, and it has arrived. Yes, so we're seeing some areas of blowing dust here across the state. A lot of wind and some rain. Here's a view from Hill Air Force Base. Thank you so much to Joe for posting this. Wanted to show you the dark clouds, and then you can see as we looked out towards the Great Salt Lake, some areas of blowing dust. Now, along I-80, speaking of the Great Salt Lake, out to Willa County, we're seeing some wind gusts more than 50 miles per hour. So high profile vehicles, trucks, trailers, you'll want to use extra caution. We do have some low visibility reported earlier in the afternoon that was down along I-15 near Cedar City. So just travel with caution since that's a possibility. Our wind will be dying down in a few hours. Our snow levels out of the storm about 7,500 feet and into tomorrow valley rain and thunderstorms with another weak system on Thursday. So Wasatch Front, our commute tonight, 61 degrees. Slick roads are possible, but wind is the primary concern for this evening into tomorrow morning. That's our lull from pre precipitation. So mostly cloudy sky tomorrow morning around 50 degrees. Our wind will be much calmer. So our wind right now is out of the southwest for Delta, Tooele, Salt Lake, Ogden, Brigham City, Logan, Evanston. All of us have wind gusts about 20 to 40 miles per hour. Price, Hanksville, Moab, Blanding, Kanab, Panguitch, Beaver, Milford, Cedar, St. George, all as well, seeing those wind gusts close to 30 to 40 miles per hour. When you wake up tomorrow morning here along the Wasatch Front, we'll have mostly cloudy sky. Our chance for some rain will return late morning tomorrow into the afternoon hours. What we're tracking for you is an area of low pressure that's off the coast of Southern California. That's why out ahead of it, we're seeing our wind out of the southwest. Tomorrow, as this continues to move, we start seeing our northwesterly flow some cooler temperatures and potentially some thunderstorms ramping up during the afternoon hours. So right now, we're really not getting a whole lot of precipitation down to the valleys. Snow levels about 7,000 feet to about 8,000 feet. That's where we're seeing some snow coming down. Some areas of rain coming down towards Lake Powell. The lighter greens that you're seeing, that's not making it not all the way to the ground quite yet just because of how dry we are at the surface. So our overnight temperatures will be about... A tw uh, let's, let's look across the state here. About 40 to 50 degrees for Provo and Eagle Mountain. For Price tomorrow morning near 40, dropping into the 30s for Park City. Ogden tomorrow morning close to 50 degrees. Same thing for Twilla. And then tomorrow afternoon, 56 for Salt Lake and Ogden. Provo, 56. For Central and Southern Utah, close to 50 degrees. For Cedar and Richfield, St. George in the 60s. For Eastern Utah, we've got temperatures close to 60 degrees. For Moab, Price, and Vernal. And as we look at future cast into tomorrow afternoon, we start seeing some thunderstorms picking up during the second half of the day. Precipitation-wise, mainly looking at less than a quarter inch of rain for many of you here in the valleys. We'll see a follow-up system on Thursday that's going to be a very weak system moving through, but we could see some follow-up showers. For St. George, you're close to 60 for Tuesday, 70s return starting on Wednesday. Here in Salt Lake, 50s tomorrow, rain and thunderstorms, breezy conditions, 61 on Wednesday, mid-50s for Thursday with another chance for some rain.